You know, it's funny, just when you think you have your life all figured out and everything is in its proper place, as you get older, you start to reevaluate some of the things that you always held true. I find myself doing that a lot these days. Why is it that we all love fall so much? I mean, it's so beautiful, but it's the end of something and something really stark is coming. What is it that makes us feel so connected to fall? Where is the line between dreaming and feeling blue? It's four o'clock in the evening. I haven't left my room, but the truth is I feel stuck here in the middle Am I one of those crazy people? Should I stay here or should I let go? Well, the sheets over my head Hoping change is gonna find I am so happy to see you today. Thank you so much for coming back and seeing me and Desi. I hope you had a good safe week. Well today we are going to have some fun. I have gotten together my must-have Amazon picks and this is the perfect time of year to do this you know because we're all kind of scrambling around for the perfect gift for that woman in our life and I threw in some QVC favorites too just for good measure. But, you know, I have a few decor things, but mostly the things I want to share with you today are things that make us look more beautiful. The first items that I want to share with you are things that I use to restore my hair. As I said, like six weeks ago, my hair just died. My scalp was so dry and my hair became so thin, I couldn't even wear my hair down to film a video. I'd always have to pin it up and even then, well, it didn't look so good. Every single night, I rubbed coconut oil into my scalp and on the ends of my hair, well, all throughout my hair. And then what I would do is for 15 minutes, I just massaged the coconut oil into my scalp and the ends of my hair and just, just had the blood flowing. You know, when you massage your scalp, you are going to increase that blood flow and that's going to just help everything. There is something so special about coconut oil. When you put it in your hair and you leave it in overnight, it just does something. It is the most amazing treatment. It works better than any hair mask that I ever used, and it's cheaper. I get my coconut oil off of Amazon, and I'll link it below, but I'm not sure it matters what type of coconut oil uh, that you're using just as long as you use it. And I used it every single night, 14 nights, and I'm still using it because I still have a long way to go. But I couldn't believe it when I wash my hair and my hair now, again, looks like hair instead of this frizzy, crazy mess that I had going on. So along with massaging the coconut oil into my hair, I bought a stimulating hairbrush. Isn't that a great name for a hairbrush? It's stimulating. It's so intellectual. Anyway, I would just brush and brush and brush for about five minutes every single night and in the morning. And this brush, it feels, a stimulating brush feels different than any other brushes. It, it just feels softer but more powerful, if that makes any sense. But brushing my hair day and night, again, it is producing more blood flow to my scalp. So the difference was like night and day after, well, it took about five days for me to actually see like, wow, my hair is coming back. And I was just so happy. The last thing I did to save my hair was I started using these 
uh, supplements. These are gummies by Vitafusion and these are for hair, skin, and nails. And these work better than any supplements I've ever used for my hair, skin, and nails. So I'm very excited to share this with you. And these are <laughs> under $10. sweater today? It'll keep you nice and warm. What do you think? You want to wear your sweater? Yeah? You all know how firmly I believe in facial oils that help us look, you know, brighter and healthier and it helps soften our, our lines and wrinkles. So a lot of you are really enjoying the pumpkin seed oil and the rosehip seed oil and you're getting it off of Amazon. So those will always be my favorite skincare Amazon picks. And a lot of you are on a budget. I'm on a budget. I used to be on a really tight budget. And this is a night cream that I use three or four nights a week by Clarence. This is like a $50 night cream. It's very expensive. It's very effective, but expensive. This night cream, I feel, is just as good as the Clarins cream. It just isn't quite as emollient, and I have to add a little bit of castor oil to this, but who cares, right? This is under $10. This is from Italy. This is the Nutrisi night cream. It is fantastic. And, you know, I ran out of my Clarence night cream. This is because I hadn't been using this in a while and I ran out of my Clarence. So I dusted this off and I started using it again. And I just remembered why I love this so much. So I didn't want you to think that you have to spend $50 for, for a night cream. When you can get something like this from Italy that is so full of argan oil and lemon oil and everything that is so good for us and you know when you're using it I swear it just it's the whole package it helps with firming and brightness and I think you'd really like it woman looks so pretty when she wears blush. I don't care what shade it is, I just think it's so pretty. And I have three holy grail blushes and I wanted to share all three of them with you today. One I get off of Amazon, one I get off of QVC, and then the other one I get at the drugstore. And this first one, I, this is high end and I get this off of Amazon and this is called Palace Identity and it is the most beautiful compact and the most beautiful blush that you could ever imagine. I didn't even know this existed, but uh, Ann P is a content creator here on YouTube and I've known her for years and she gives the best advice when it comes to high-end makeup. And when I saw this, I couldn't resist it. So I did order it. This is a gift, but I also got one for myself. This is so beautiful. You can use this as an eyeshadow. You can use this as a two-tone blush and a highlight. So the value of it is just beautiful. It makes such a beautiful gift and it comes in a little velvet pouch. What could be better than that? My other holy grail blush is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I get this off of QVC because it's just so much easier because so many times I go to you know Ulta and it's sold out. But I love their blush trio. I get this in Passion Pink and it's just beautiful. This is so pigmented. And what I consider a holy grail with blush is that it's very pigmented, it lasts, and it goes on like, like a beautiful soft powder. That's the finish of it. I don't want anything harsh. I don't want anything that is going to look like I stamped a quarter on my cheek. The last one that I wanted to share with you, the blush that I have been going to day after day is by Catrice. 
And this blush, what, this is around $8, but this can play with the big boys. It really can. This is multifaceted as far as it gives you a couple different tones of blush. It gives you a highlight, gives you a little bit of a shimmer, but it's very natural. It lasts and it does look like a very pretty soft powder on your cheeks. So a place in my little dining area here in my apartment and it was driving me crazy because it was not symmetrical and I had little lamps but they didn't match and it anyway it drove me crazy I wanted something arts and crafts and I wanted something linen that would match my curtains in my little dining area and I wanted the shade to be linen just like this and I found this lamp on Amazon. I bought two so I could have one for each side. Very Frank Lloyd right there. Very arts and crafts. But this is by the company Placeholder and they have all kinds of arts and crafts vintage lamps but they're not very expensive. They're under $20 in fact. But these are very very well done and I want to show you what these look like. I want to share with you a coat that I bought off of QVC and it reminded me of a coat that I had in the 80s. I know, I know, but I could not resist. I remember when I was in New York I had this, this uh, faux fur and it was black with a big collar and you know I just thought I was just the coolest you know. Anyway, when I saw this coat on QVC it's by uh, Dennis Basso and when I saw it I just I fell in love with it and it's reversible so it's a very warm beautiful winter coat and it is glamorous uh, but it's also very practical and very warm for a Michigan winter and I want to show you what it looks like on. I had so much fun last week showing you my little black and red Billie Holiday duster. You seem to like it so much and I wore it last Sunday to the jazz club and it was a hit. <laughs> so yeah, I just loved it. And I want to show you a duster that I got off of Amazon and I did uh, show you a peek of it last week, but this is just a gray, long, romantic duster. It has a Queen Anne collar and those are just so attractive. But to go with that Amazon duster, I just love that it's gray and I've kind of fallen in love with gray and pink so I picked up this gray and pink shirt uh, that I can wear under it and actually I got two different types of gray and pink. I just think that's so bright for winter but I want to show you what that looks like on.
either wear your sweater today or your raincoat. What would you rather do? Would you rather wear your sweater or your raincoat? Desi, are you listening to me? Oh, you want to wear your sweater? Okay. We can wear the sweater. Forget the raincoat. Can you give me five? Oh, good boy. That was so much fun going through my Amazon favorites. I hope you saw something that you liked. And I wanted to take uh, just a few minutes and and say how sorry I am that I made a mistake last week. I owe an apology to you and especially an apology to all my ladies here who are Native American. I loved this sculpture and I called this Alaskan Inuit uh, uh, artwork and it is not. It is signed by the artist. This is Native American and I will link all the information below. But I am very sorry that I did not catch the signature of the artist on this and I'm sorry that I didn't do more research before I showed it to you. The YouTube algorithm is kind of a mysterious thing. And because I had a, a couple popular videos in the last few weeks, they're kind of pushing out all my old videos, right? So, so many of you have gone back to the very first video that I did, which is footage of me in 2012 coming right, right off my divorce when... I, I was at my lowest of the low. And you see me prancing around in the snow with my blind dog, Cooper. And it's the dead of winter, and I don't even have a, a winter coat. I'm out there in a blazer and a scarf. But I'm smiling. I'm, I'm smiling. And I, I read a, a few of your comments. And I was listening to this song by Joni Mitchell, and it's called Blue. And there is a line in that song. And it says, Songs are like tattoos. You know, I've been to sea before. And never have I ever thought of a song as a tattoo. And I've been writing songs since I was a little girl. But I do feel that the videos that I film are tattoos. They, they are the tattoos that I have that I will always carry with me of the things that I have tried to bring you glimpses into my life. And I honestly thought that, well, you know, the gals that, that I have here, you know, you know, they don't have to go back to that first video and, and see how poor I was, how skinny I was. And then I read a comment. I read a beautiful comment by Paula and she said, you know what, all I need is this video and your story about how you didn't have a coat and you were so cold in that snow with Cooper and your neighbor May gave you a coat and you didn't want to take it but she made you. And when I read that, it just well, I just burst into tears. Big surprise, right? And I thought, it's like you just saw into my heart. You just saw a flashback of my life. I mean, I can, I can talk until I'm blue in the face about how I rebuilt my life, but you actually see it. You actually see it in that video. And <laughs> there's, there's a lot. The, the, the video is based on a song I wrote called Thanksgiving Day. And I wrote that song about my relationship with my mother. How, when I was growing up, she never saw my face. She never knew the girl she raised. But that song is all about forgiveness. And the last line is, but I'll, I'll always find my way back to you. And I was, I was talking about my mom, but I realize now, after reading all your comments, I'll always find my way back to you. That, that has new meaning for me now. That whole, whole video and that song has, has more meaning to me now because I realize that no matter what I do in life, no matter how happy or successful or 
whatever life has in store, no matter what, I will always find my way back. <laughs> to the woman that I was in that snow, with my dog, without a coat. And I like that, because even though I had nothing, I was happy. I, I, I really was. I, I was happy in the moment, and, and I was grateful I had a roof over my head. So many of you are working on your life, and you want to become a different woman. You want to get back on your feet for all different kinds of reasons, not just divorce or losing a spouse. But we women who are strong and we're tough and we get back on our feet. And no matter how far you go in your life, these days that are so hard for you, you'll always find your way back to those days. And you always smile and be grateful. You'll be grateful for the woman that you have become and the hopeful woman you were. Thank you so much for spending this time with us today. I loved every second of it. And if you get time down below, could you share, well, how do you feel when, when somebody says, I'll always find my way back? What will you always find your way back to? Could you share that with us today? Have yourself a wonderful brand new week. And when you're done with your week, please come back and see me and Desi, okay? All right, it's a deal. We'll be here. You ready to go to the park? All right, let's go to the park. We're going to have a good time.